Books and Impersonator, who's chronicled the life of the family in a brand new book. We're looking at the cover of a new book that's out about the world's most famous family in entertainment history, the Jacksons. It details their struggle and also their rise to fame. The author, whose name is Phoenix, is joining us here this morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. How are you doing? Thanks for being with us. Thank you. So you wrote a book about the Jacksons. Mm -hmm. Now, you told me that you know them personally? Well, I've spoken to Jermaine. Jermaine's a very good dear friend of mine, and along with uh, Tito. Uh -huh. And uh, very, very news that I got on the Jackson family. They have helped inspire my life. They have also opened a lot of doors for me successfully. This is interesting because I know the Jacksons guard their privacy fiercely. Yes, they do. Did they have, did you get help from them to write this book? Are they pleased about the fact that you wrote it? Well, the Jacksons, they're definitely pleased. And uh, as far as it goes with the Jackson family, they're thrilled with the book. And along with that, I've spoken to Michael Jackson's publicist, which is Mr. Bob Jones. And he said Michael Jackson is definitely anticipating the anxious weight of this book and the receiver's copy as well. So what is it about then? Well, the book takes you uh, throughout the Jackson's career, illustrious career, and along with their success. And there's some different uh, chapters in there about their trials and tribulations. And but they've had quite a few, haven't Yes, they, they have. Wow. The Jackson have had a lot of bad um, things with the public and also the media. But at the same time, the Jacksons also have achieved their success and had longevity. Yeah. So I'll come to Fun to watch, them. too. Yes, they are. We've Very heard, talented. We've man. heard over and over how the Jacksons' father mm -hmm. was a, a controlling man and at times very difficult mm -hmm. to live with. Did, yes. they, did they say that to you as well? Well, from what I experienced, from what I've seen and personal friends, I would believe so. But also, you got to remember, raising nine children mm -hmm. wasn't easy. It wasn't easy for especially one parent working. Mm -hmm. But I feel that Joe Jackson has done a fantastic job with raising those children. And to this day, look what they achieved. And besides, if he hadn't done what he had done with ruling them and raising them the right way, the Jacksons could have been taking a whole new number direction with their lives, you know? You know, we've also, we've seen pictures of Michael, and it, it, he's a man who many people categorize as strange. And all the plastic surgery operations that he's had, and he yes. walks around with a mask, and mm -hmm. then allegations of sexual molestation with a child. Right. Is it's, any of that in the book? That's definitely in the book. That's definitely in the book. As far as it goes with this thing that we speak about, plastic surgery, I mean, if you don't like something about yourself, you would change it. So mm -hmm. I feel there's no sin in with what Mike has done. He just wanted to continue achieving success. Now, as far as it goes with the molestation charges, not in the least I believe anything like that. And this is what I came to on his aid, the fact. Uh, I stood behind him. So that various friends such as Quincy Jones, the people throughout the entire industry, they believe in Michael and I believe in him. And I will always continue believing that he's innocent. You actually impersonate Michael Jackson as well. If we didn't have this book uh, here, I would, yeah. ask, I yeah. would yeah. ask you to yeah. show yeah. us a few steps. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, I, yes, I used to impersonate Michael, but I retired that. Oh, you did? A, yes, I did. Uh, that took me throughout the entire world and opened a lot of doors for me. Mm -hmm. And once I retired it, I came from out of uh, retirement the year of 1996 for Miss Joan London. She got in touch with oh. my agents to perform for her daughter, Bat Mitzvah. You're kidding. Yes, I did. So I had to get that white glove and the fedora back out. And, yeah, uh, as I was thumbing through, I saw yes, a picture of her in It's here. right in terms of the back of the book. Well, this looks like an interesting book. It's on sale now. It's definitely in all the stores. And by within the next few weeks, it's going to be in stores across the country. And you'll be able to go buy it in the uh, Walden Books, Speed Altman's, and so on and so forth. Ironically enough, Phoenix is not from Phoenix. How did you get your name real quick? Oh, uh, believe it or not, <laughs> born and raised with the name. I'm a native of New Yorker, born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Really? Yes. So, do you say, is that really your name? So, yeah, that's my dad's name was passed on and on and on. Well, good for guys. you. Uh-huh. An interesting book. And like we said, if